Now, the third test we want to talk about today is the H. pylori stool antigen test. So what is H. pylori? So H. pylori is a chronic infection of the stomach lining, which is a spiral-shaped organism that you, we can see on uh, endoscopy when we take biopsies. And so this um, is a really important infection because it's known to be uh, associated with uh, gastric ulcers, duodenal ulcers, as well as gastritis. And it's also associated with conditions like lymphoma and gastric cancer. So we believe it's really important for us to diagnose this and also to treat it. And just to reiterate how important this uh, infection is, in 2005, uh, Marshall and Warren won a Nobel Prize in physiology uh, for the discovery of this organism and the, its role in GI diseases. And I think that really play, shows you how important it is that this discovery and the fact that we have, are able to now diagnose this and treat it. So the treatment of this condition is actually quite complicated. And so because it's a bacterium and it's actually subject to a lot of um, what we call bacterial resistance or antibiotic resistance. And so you need to take uh, often a combination of antibiotics as well as a proton pump inhibitor for usually two weeks to make sure that you can adequately treat it. So the treatment does vary a little bit depending on what region you live in, just because that local resistance patterns of the bacteria can vary. And so it's important to follow the local guidelines. Furthermore, because it's such an important infection, we actually often rule out, do a test to rule out um, to make sure that you've eradicated this bacterium because we want to make sure that um, you're not continuing to be at risk from the uh, conditions that you can get associated with this infection. So in general, we find that there's um, two types of tests that we can use to diagnose H. pylori. First is an endoscopic test, which is an invasive test where you do endoscopy and biopsies, which we uh, often do, especially when we find uh, ulcers, when we are scoping people and uh, find this condition or we find um, evidence of gastritis. We wanna make sure that we treat this. And then there's a few non-invasive tests. And so the first non-invasive test we're talking about today is the stool antigen test, which is actually a test that is actually really good because it can not only diagnose the H. pylori, but it's good to make sure that you've eradicated that H. pylori. So there's two other non-invasive tests that we sometimes do. One is a blood test. And the blood test sometimes see people would like to prefer to do, but it can only really confirm a, an infection or a past infection. It cannot um, tell us that it's been eradicated. It just says that at some point in time, you had H. pylori. Now, the third non-invasive test is a urea breath test in which you ingest a, a substance and then they actually measure your, um, the amount of urea in your breath over a certain period of time to see whether or not you have evidence of H. pylori. And so this is a, actually a very good test you can also use for diagnosis and for determined eradication, but it's a little more expensive. And so that's why people have gone more to this dual antigen test. The one thing to remember is that because this is an infection and often um, that uh, acid can a little bit suppress it or medications can suppress the acid, that we actually, you need to be off antibiotics as well as off proton pump inhibitors when you get these tests done to get the best result, the most accurate result.